A massive new interstellar traveler has entered our solar system an object so enormous and so bright that astronomers describe it as nearly 100 times larger and more luminous than three atlas. First detected on September 12, 2025, using the SWAN instrument aboard the ESO spacecraft, its discovery immediately set off a chain of global observations. Within 48 hours, a comet hunter from Australia, Michael Matiazzo, captured a stunning image that left scientists speechless. This wasn't just another visitor from the void. It was completely different to spectacle blazing toward the sun with a ferocity that dwarfs every known comet sighting in recent memory. Its sudden appearance has already ignited debates among astronomers. Some call it the most significant interstellar object discovered since Oumuamua. Others suggest that its timing arriving just as 3i Atlas closes in on its own solar encounter cannot be random. If you enjoy solving mysteries like this one and want to stay updated on discoveries reshaping our view of the universe, make sure to subscribe for more. Equally astonishing are its physical characteristics. The tail of the visitor stretches nearly to astronomical units across the sky roughly five times the full moon's width as seen from Earth. Against this dazzling sweep of light, 3i, Atlas's own thin filament of a tail looks almost insignificant, like the trail of a lone match stick compared to a wildfire. The sheer scale of this tail indicates a tremendous release of material or energy far beyond what a typical comet would produce. Some astronomers have even speculated that this might not be simple outgassing from solar heating, but a more controlled or directed phenomenon. Its brightness and sharply defined tail make it one of the most striking objects ever observed glowing, cutting across the cosmic dark and captivating both amateur and professional astronomers alike. The International Astronomical Union moved quickly to classify and name the object, giving it the designation CC2025R to SWAN after its instrument of discovery. Initially known as SWAN to 5B, its formal naming cemented its place in the astronomical record. But naming it did little to quell the inquiries. Unlike 3i, Atlas, which hails from a region near the galactic core, SWAN's origin point is radically different. It came shouting from Aquarius on a totally unrelated trajectory making the idea that they are fragments of the same body virtually impossible. This independence only deepens the mystery to distinct interstellar objects arriving in our solar system within months of each other both on course to meet the sun at nearly the same moment. For many in the scientific community, this coincidence strains belief. Could two such wanderers really appear back to back after ends of silence? Or are we witnessing something coordinated, some cosmic event larger than we understand? This sense of timing is what most irritates astronomers. SWAN will make its closest approach to the sun its perihelion at a distance of about 150 million kilometers. Just days later, 3i Atlas will pass at 103 million kilometers. On a cosmic scale, the difference is razor thin, barely 50 million kilometers apart, and narrowing as their velocities are subtly altered by gravitational forces. For a brief moment in October 2025, the two objects will disappear from every Earth-based telescope, swallowed by the blinding glare of the sun. When they emerge again, their paths may be forever changed or they may no longer exist. Astronomers are bracing for what could be a first-of-its-sky natural experiment to interstellar travelers possibly communicating, maneuvering, or even colliding beyond our sight. Whatever happens in those hidden weeks near the sun could rewrite what we know about comets, interstellar matter, and perhaps even the universe's intelligent design. As the two interstellar objects near the heart of the solar system, the timing becomes increasingly eerie. Swan's perihelion its closest approach to the sun will be roughly 150 million kilometers, about the same length as Earth's orbit. A short while later, 3i, Atlas will pass the sun at about 103 million kilometers. The gap between them, barely 50 million km, might seem vast by human standards. However, on a cosmic scale, it is the equivalent of two bullets passing within inches of one another. Even more, the fact that this is taking place is upsetting. 
At a crucial moment, both objects will vanish from view, hidden behind the sun's blazing disk. Without a telescope, for weeks they can only be followed by Earth. It is as though the universe itself has drawn a curtain leaving humanity blind to whatever is about to unfold. Astronomers are using a mix of dread and anticipation to prepare for this blackout. When the two visitors reappear on the other side, their courses may be drastically altered, revealing whether they interacted gravitationally or perhaps in unexpected ways. Will they accelerate, decelerate, or shift trajectories entirely? Some even speculate about the possibility of a near-miss or, more dramatically, a collision. If either object breaks apart near perihelion, the resulting debris could flood the solar system's interior, creating a spectacular display of meteors or a hazard to satellites and spacecraft. No matter what happens, the October window represents a once-in-a-lifetime alignment, and its implications may extend far beyond astronomy. What is most disconcerting, however, are the properties these objects appear to possess. Data from 3i Atlas has already shaken the scientific community. Spectroscopy suggests its composition is dominated by pure nickel without the iron content normally found in natural meteoritic material. This unusual makeup alone would be enough to spark debate. However, the energy readings are what have truly alarmed researchers. Instruments have measured emissions consistent with a sustained 10-gigawatt power source buried deep within the object comparable to 50 nuclear power plants operating in unison. Even stranger, its tail does not behave like ordinary cometary outgassing. Instead of chaotic emissions from sublimating ice, the spray forms a narrow, collimated jet as if under deliberate control. The flow never stops, maintaining a constant speed, and at perihelion its color abruptly shifts from red to green an event that Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb refers to as thrust modulation. In his opinion, the object is not merely venting gas but actively steering, adjusting its trajectory as solar heating increases. If 3i Atlas resembles a probe, Swan R2 is something far more formidable. Early observations point to a highly ionized plasma surrounding its core, creating a barrier that sparkles while deflecting charged particles away from the solar wind. Unlike a passive cometary coma, this shield appears to change dynamically almost as though it were being tuned in real time. Its huge, luminous tail, spanning five full moons, suggests that it has enormous power emissions. Even more astonishing, small periodic changes in brightness have been detected, pointing to sudden outbursts of controlled propulsion. These light pulses match what would be expected from a high-efficiency plasma drive gently but with exactitude moving the object along its route. Spectral analysis has further revealed nickel-cobalt plasma traces mixed with carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, a chemical mixture that does not match any known natural process. Producing such a mixture would require temperatures and magnetic confinement far beyond anything that occurs spontaneously in comets. And then there is the core itself. If 3i Atlas's 10-gigawatt output was shocking, Swan's core is staggering. Its levels of energy are calculated to exceed 10,000 gigawatts per second. To put this in perspective, that is nearly the total power consumption of an entire human civilization condensed into a single interstellar device. Some theorists compare it to the energy release of merging black holes scaled down but perfectly contained. In their words, if 3i Atlas is a scout, then Swan is the fortress, a leviathan on a mission that involves crossing the void. Its core eludes simple classification. Swan's energy output is so stupendous that it dwarfs the entire electrical consumption of Earth by orders of magnitude. That is not a mere cometary nucleus, it is a controlled power source, a reactor humming at a level we can scarcely imagine. If such a device truly exists, it implies technology capable of sustaining, regulating, and containing energy on a scale that rivals cosmic events. The idea that an object could traverse interstellar space, survive for tens of thousands of years, and then activate or shine exactly as it nears our sun suggests a system that is not just durable but intelligent.